So the whole world is basically bashing me right now because I'm the baby mama who was upset at her baby daddy because he only decided to give his child McDonald's and not the rest of my other three kids. I have four kids. You knew the situation when you dated me. Our child is the youngest child. So keep that in mind before y'all make me the villain. That means all my other kids knew him. He was buying the McDonald's when we were together. My kids have to go through a transition of our- Get out of my house, man. You just saying get out, Daddy, but y'all ain't even telling me a real reason. I get up every morning, I go to work. I pay my half the bills. Every month I give you, I go half with you on the bill. Everything paid. What's the reason? You Look at this. I, c I come home and you packing my stuff for what? Yeah, you going you know through my drawers? You in my room? What are you doing? You tell me why. What I are don't. you doing? What, 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 what do you mean what I'm doing? What you mean? Why are you recording me? Because I want the people to see how I'm being treated. You're, treating you're me. not telling me the you're reason. Treating this family, you're man. not telling me the reason, though. Because you want to be, you can't be real to tell me. You can't be real to tell me the reason, though. Tell me the reason why you put me out. You keep saying the company I keep. I got the same two friends I've been having. Yeah, but they're running through my house. You, you're coming in. What's in, the in, reason, though? Of the night What's the reason? Don't care about it. Is it because I'm not a basketball player? Down. Is it because I'm not a football player, Daddy? I didn't make you proud. Like, come on. Man, you're like, look at this. This is ridiculous. Look at this. You're, you're look how you're treating you me, though. You're talking look about you. under my roof. You're a disgrace what, to the family. How am I you're dis what you mean? To me. What you mean? You're not what I what, what I've been raising. What I used to be raising. You're a whole nother. Person. What are you talking about? Oh, it's you oh, it's a surprise. Get, get it's a, you don't have to touch yeah, my stuff. I'm, you, don't I'm very to touch my stuff. you don't have to touch my stuff. You ain't even telling me the reason though. I want you to be real. You say you're a man. Be real and tell me why you put me out. I do. I go half with you on the bills. I go half with you on the bills. What's the reason? I need you out of here. You're not telling me the reason. Get out of here, man. What's the reason though? Or, or is there a ride? Is there a lift? Is there a I'm not going nowhere until you tell me a valid reason why Where's you put me phone? out. I'm going to make a call. You don't have to keep touching my stuff. So, um, Kohalo, y'all. Bashmiel Shai. Bashum. Rakakadaj. The boss of the apostles. The boss of the elders. The great millstone. Ruel. And tell us his truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there. Spreach his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle David. Hope for Lekin. Sparkle Bird. And one says shall warm. So, I'm get right into this, man. You know, I saw these uh, videos and I was just like, man, if we was in the ancient world or if our laws from how about Shemel Shah were in place, a lot of judgment would be going forth. Okay? Because as you see, this, uh, hey, <laughs> his countenance show it all. This dude's a, a, a sodomite, man. Sodomite. Okay? And he's lucky that he's alive. And really what the Lord is doing to a lot of a lot of the wicked of our people, he's prolonging their lives instead of instead of just judging them right there. Because also here in Babylon the Great the law is slack. Alright. But yet they want to profess that they're a Bible believing country. <laughs> what a joke, man. But uh this this dude's lucky to be alive, but the Lord is prolonging his life. Because, uh, hey, he's supposed to be put to death. The father, hey, <laughs> you see the father, man. He's ashamed. I would be too. You have to be ashamed. All right? To have a Babylonian son that's indoctrinated by these Babylonian ways, man. That's why we waiting for this place to truly be destroyed, man. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get some scriptures. Once again, a hey, the laws of Yahweh Shemel Shah were implemented. The wicked of our people will be put out. It's Deuteronomy 21 and verse 18. If a man have a stubborn or rebellious son because his son is still living with him, you're still under your father's household and you're, you're supposed to respect your father and your mother, all right? Since you're still under their household, you're supposed to do what they tell them to do. And that's your father and your mother, all right? No matter how old you are, you, you, you're still under their household. Which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother. And that when they have chastised him and will not hearken unto them. Then shall his father and his mother lay 
hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of his city and unto the gate of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of the city, this is our son. He is stubborn and rebellious. Obviously, this is Jake right here. Okay, because once again, if we are in the ancient world or, or our ways were implemented, okay, this man will be brought up. And as we read, and hey, he committed a sin unto death, we're well, going to have to be put to death as we read, getting him ahead of myself. All right. And they shall say unto the elders of, this, of the city, this is our son, he is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of his city, <laughs> man, you just got to picture it, man. Stubborn as Jake, or hard headed as Jake, man. Jake that want to follow the ways of Babylon. And you got all the men of the city coming out with rocks in their hands, getting ready to throw it at this boy, man. Imagine that. Hey, you gotta put yourself back, back into those days, man. And all the men of his city shall stone him with stones that he died. Man, that's a horrible way to go out, man. That's a horrible way to go out. To get hit by stones, it's not a quick and easy death all the time, man. You getting hit, you getting battered, your bones is crushing. You might still be alive and... and <laughs> Eventually you go brain dead, man. That's a horrible way to go out, man. Horrible way to go out. But hey, the Lord wants evil to be put out. And guess what? This law is going to be implemented when we're in power, man. <laughs> our children won't have to bear this. All right? Because even our children are going to be in their right minds. Okay? But you are the nations. Woo! Man, that's a horrible way, to wait, horrible way to go out. That he die, so shall thou put evil away from among you, and all Israel shall hear in fear. That's hey, that's why the Lord set up that evil slack and set up that punishment. All right, that harsh, harsh punishment. All right, so evil can be put out. And so other children or other men and women will hear this. Be like, hey, I ain't trying to go out like that, man. You hear about old boy? Yeah, I heard about old boy. You know, and that will spread and, and everybody will fear the Lord. All right. It's Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed abominations. They shall surely be put to death. The blood shall be upon them. All right. And yes. You can see by his countenance, this man's a sodomite, man. And he did do a sin unto death. And so thus, the Lord going to take him out very, very soon, man. Very, very soon. This is Deuteronomy 23, verse 17. There shall be no whores of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. You see that? Lord ain't playing, man. Hey, we supposed to be holy. These other nations are supposed to look up to us. Nah, but they look down upon us, man. As you see with the video with that Jake woman. You know, they a lot of these other nations, their women are in order. But our, our women is out of order. Alright? We have a few righteous sisters. Call hello, y'all by Shmiel Shah for that. But, hey, pretty much the whole head is sick. You know, our people want to be whores. <gasps> our, our men, instead, hey, instead of being warriors, they want to be sodomites. It's a crying shame, man. Let's get on the women. All right, because you had that uh, Jake woman going off on that uh, uh, Jake. On her baby daddy <laughs> for not bringing food. To her other children, well, well, he's taking care of his seed, man, and she's standing her ground with that. You know, a a woman like that is gonna be put out, man. And these women out here that's shameless, they're gonna be put out, man. They're gonna be put out.
a lot a the two a a lot of the two thirds is women, and a lot of women are gonna be put to death in these last days, man. And a lot of women's gonna be saved. All right, this Ecclesiasticus or Syrac twenty six and verse twenty five: A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. You see that? But she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shah. All right, and a lot of these women out here. You know, they got the uh, butt implants, breast implants. When Jacob's trouble pop off, <laughs> those things are going to pop off, man. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, a lot of these women can't already run, man. They can't run. And so hey, a lot of these men out here that's, that's lusting and, and craving, you know, you out there showing your body for everybody to see. Well, hey, just go watch a couple movies, man. They, they'll show you. Show you how the end times are going to be. These men are going to have their way with you, right? And that's why a hey, the men of the Lord is going to be covenant in that day, man. People are going to be looking for them for their protection, because the Lord going to give His men that protection. And, and you women out there that want to do your own thing, think that you're independent, you don't need a man. Well, you're going to have to learn the hard way, man. You're going to be counted as a dog in that day. Sirach 26 and verse 22. And harlot shall be accounted as spittle. You're going to be accounted as spittle, man. Lord ain't saving you. I even had dreams about that, man. <laughs> I, I, I've already told a couple brothers. You know, I did a lesson on it as well. I believe it was last year. May even been two years ago or so. All right, hey, a nice fine woman came up to me. Hey, it's Jacob's trouble popping off, and I pushed her away. You know, the Lord gonna have that spirit upon the men of the Lord, gonna see right through you. Hey, oh man, she a Harley, man. I ain't gonna deal with her, push her away. That's exactly what I did. See, right, saw right through her. She was nothing to deal with, push her away, man. You ain't getting none of this food and water that I had. You know, hey, the Lord was taking care of me. The Lord said, my servants shall eat and rejoice. And that's what that's what was happening, man. And she wanted some of that food. And I saw right through it. I'm like, nah, get away, get away from me, man. You ain't getting none of this. So that's what's gonna happen to a lot of these women, man. Doesn't matter if you look good or not. Alright. Doesn't matter. Let's see. Um, I wasn't finished on that. But a married woman is a tower against death to her husband. And a lot of these women out here ain't marriage material, man. It's a crying shame, but hey, this is our punishment from Yahweh by Shemel Shah. All right? And this is another reason why we go hard. So our women can be in order. So our people in general can be in order, man. This is Sirach 26 and verse 1. Blessed is the man to have a virtuous wife, for the number of his days shall be doubled. And a lot, hey, a lot of us, what we dealing with, what a lot of brothers is dealing with, I should say. You know, hey, hey, you'd be lucky to have a virtuous wife in, in this day and age in this kingdom, man. A virtual woman rejoices with her husband. And he shall be filled the years all his life in peace. You know, because hey, that's your helpmate. Once again, these women out here are not not helpmates, man. They liabilities. <laughs> they don't know how to cook, clean, take care of no baby, nothing, man. Woo! We're gonna set that straight though. Alright. It's like a good wife is a good portion, which is which shall be given in the portion of them that fear the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And call the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shai if you have a good wife right beside you. All right? And you can be a man of the Lord and be dealing with a lot of uh, a lot of these uh, uh, women that's, that's spittle, man. And that's just a punishment from Yahweh by Shemel Shai. You know, it just shows you, hey, don't have your head up these women asses. And just realize, you know, Isaiah 4 1 is coming unto you, man. You know, just bear the brunt of that punishment and keep it moving, all right? All right. 
keep it moving. Lord gonna take care of you. Lord gonna take care of all of us, man. Yeah, we're about to zon. It's in Sirach 26 and verse 7. The evil wife is a yoke and shaken to and fro. He that have hold of her is as though he held a scorpion. So that goes for the, a lot of these women out here, man. You know, and especially that woman <laughs> as though that fool that that father has brought to his seed, man, to, to consume, man. Man, she's definitely a scorpion. She's definitely spittle. She most likely will not be delivered. All right? Will not be delivered. And a lot of women like that, let that be an example, man. You want to act like that? You're going to be counted as spittle. You are going to be counted as spittle. All right? Let's get these last scriptures and I'm going to close out right here. All right? Because this two-third activity is being detected, <laughs> as being seen. All right, y'all evil ways are gonna be put out, man. Very, very soon. Hey, prepare to be judges. It's Jeremiah six and verse sixteen. Thus says Yahweh, Bashim Yahshua, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Our people ain't doing that. Our people wanna uh, be proud as hell to call them so black or sodomites, man. Where is the good way and walk therein? You shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. You see, we blowing that trumpet, trying to wash the blood off our hands, but they don't want to walk in the ways of Yahweh by Shemel Shad to please the Lord. Also, I've set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. Therefore, hear ye nations and know the old congregation. What is among them? Hear, O earth, and behold, I will bring evils upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected. So pretty much short and simple, man. Since you don't want to take heed, since you don't want to take this correction, the Lord's going to give you that correction the hard way, man. And that's being sent to the spirit world. And it's not going to be quick and easy. Death, no. You're going to seek death. It's not finding, man. It's going to be hard, horrible, and torturous, man. All right? I'm going to end it right there. Or when it's edifying, I want to give all praises, glory, and on the two. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Kadash, and the wild, above, above, above,